Hey man, you can know your watch. Dance, dance, dance. Yeah, wow, wow. I'm there again, my people. Man, as I respect to each and every one, you know. Yeah, we have certain amount of sad topics I'm going to talk about in this video. And let me start off with uh, this topic, you know. See? In the first video that I'm going to present to you, a person said some words that gave me the understanding that the person was asking for help. But, you know, I think it would be best if you listen to whatever help the person that asks for. The video shows a lot of water flowing in what some people might call a type of trench. Some people might also call it a drain. Some people might just call it a gully. It depends on which country you're from. But my people, overall, the situation is dangerous, my people. Because the heavy flowing water, when we see in the video, I think that's dangerous to people or support. If certain things should happen, my people, let's look at the video and get an understanding about this type of situation, you see? Oh, and viewer discretion is advised for this video. Observe with me. Help. Who can help me to get out of this gully? Who can help me to get out of this gully? Look at the gully. Look, look, oh, look, 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 look the water is to me. where I see. I need some help to get out of this gully. Ready, Shaq? Victoria, I need some help. Anyone can do some help to get out of this gully. I'll be appreciated. Yes? Yeah? Yes? Yeah? Yes? Yeah? Yes? Yeah? Yes? 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 My bed is about to wash me. See where, I, where, where I sleep? I need the water. So I need some support. I need some help to get out of this body. Okay? Hmm. Ah, my people, let me tell you something, man. You know that you have some persons that are going to say, Ray, I'm blind, so forth. But let me tell you something, you see? I always wish for the best for people. Yeah, man, I always wish for the best for the people. You see, no matter who you be or why, Ray. You see, man, I say, I try my best to always think positive in every situation. Because nobody's not perfect in my point of view, you see? Yeah, so when it comes down to that situation, I just know. I just hope for the best, you see? Yeah, but you can't even know anything about it. Still, um, I'm going to move on to another topic. Oh, so, take a look at this video that shows a police service motor vehicle from within the country of Jamaica. Listen to some words that a person said in the video, really, you know? Um... You can't tell me if you agree or if you disagree with what the person said. Observe. Watch all the ones in here. Mm -hmm. Catch them a back like that. And if they ever catch up on the road, put them a fool in each other. We must take it we get. Watch it. I can't even see. Hmm. I think I understand what the person I say, you know? Mm. You ever hear anybody say, you should lead by example or something like that? Yeah, that well, I got me have a set to write this. But tell me if you agree if I, or if you disagree with what the person said. Let me know if you agree or if you disagree with what the person said in that video, my people. All right. So I went on a social media page for the Jamaica Constabulary Force and see a post that had been made on social media about a situation where they said that uh, two police officers lost their lives as a result of uh, injuries they sustained in what is said to be a motor vehicle accident let me read some of the words then when we see in the post that i have made on social media so the post said the police high command is saddened by the death of two police constables a man and a woman who died as a result of injuries they sustained in a motor vehicle accident on the yardtown main road mayapen clarendon on sunday september 15. At about 6.30 p.m., the officers were in a service vehicle traveling along the roadway. On reaching a section of the roadway, the driver allegedly lost control of the unit that went over a ditch. They were pronounced dead on arrival at the hospital. The same post said that the Jamaica Constabulary Force is expressing condolences to the family, friends, and colleagues of the constables who were assigned to the Area 3 headquarters in Clarendon. And there's more words in the same post as well if you're a subscriber. See? Now, um, 
I saw pictures and at least one video about that situation. It was really and truly somewhat uh, shocking when I look at the pictures and so on. See, so that's the information that I got about that situation. You see, it, um, if you're new to my channel, click the subscribe button and the click notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I post a video. And remember to click all. I'm going to present a video to you that's going to show some things that happened because of a confrontation that started between at least two females. And in my point of view, it seems as if there was at least one male who was part of the reason as to why that confrontation started between those persons. Now, the reason why I said it like that, you know, and let me try and explain to you in my words. In at least one of those pieces of videos, I hear when someone said some words, which also includes at least one harsh word to someone that gave me the understanding that the person asked that person why the person have a husband in the person's house. Those are not the exact words, but me just try to explain them my way. My people, me look on these videos and I think I see some form of relationship problem, you know. But you can let me know what you think. Viewer discretion is advised for these pieces of videos. Observe with me. Why do you have my husband in your house? Who fuck you? Your what? Your what? Your what? man? Your what? 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 Why do you leave him now? Let me go home. What are you doing here, Mitchell? What are you doing here? Watch where you call Sally. Come, come, come. You here, what? Huh? I'm not coming inside. Come on, baby. Arty, please. Arty, please. Let me go home. Arty. Based on how the situation has set my people, I don't think that the person that can pull out no farm is shaggy. As how some people might call it, you know? Can't say it was me right there, so. You know what I mean? Because you can't hear when one person asks a question and the way the clothes roll up and all them. He said, that way, my people. I tell you the truth. Hey, may I tell you? I don't know about nobody else, no, but in my point of view, you know, sometimes some relationships come in like work. I thought that, that, that's what I think. But you know, more don't go up to everything all right and it comes down to those persons though. More than you can talk about them differences, you know. So those pieces of videos have been talked about on social media. That's one of the reasons why I present those pieces of videos to you. Let me know what you think about that situation. Or you can tell me what would you do if you find yourself in a situation like that from either angles. Alright? And if you're new to my channel, don't be afraid to click the subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I post a video. Remember to click all. I'm going to present a video to you that caught my attention. Now, in the video that I'm about to present to you, you can hear a certain amount of persons saying disrespectful words right in the presence of police officers. I mean, in the video, you can hear persons saying some disrespectful words towards law enforcers. And when I said disrespectful words, I mean some harsh words. Let's take a look at this video and see if we can get an understanding as to what might have caused a situation like this. I don't have any confirmed information as to exactly where the video will be recorded. And some of the scenes in this video might not be suitable for everyone. If you were, discretion is advised for this video. Observe. Who's the officer in charge? I'm not the officer. So who's the officer in charge? Cross by, sure you try you 
to assume that there were persons who were angry at least at the time when that video was recorded within that area hey let me ask you a question i know my people see based on the country that you're from i would like you to tell me how police within your country would react if anyone was saying words that i'm going to call colorful you know, yeah, I'm, just, I'm going to call it colorful because I don't really want to say certain words. So I say, yeah, how police would react in your country if uh, anyone said certain words or certain ways towards uh, police officers and so forth? Hmm? Leave a comment or comments. Let me know what you think. See? Yeah. There is a reason why I think um, so many law enforcers was within one area and there were quite a number of persons who, you know, there was some type of inconvenience for a certain number of persons who was within that area and so on, based on certain things happening, you know. Yeah. And um we can hear anger in voices. Yeah, well, let me know anything about that, yeah, my people. I think here's where I'm going to leave it though. And um big up and respect to each and everyone. 
if you're new to my channel don't be afraid to click the subscribe button and the click notification bell so that you can be notified whenever i post a video and remember to click all until the next time my name is dancer Askila. big up hey man you can know where you watch